If this isn't your first time seeing my face, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Creating and managing a Discord server is not easy. I personally have been the owner of several dead Discord servers, but for the past six months, I've been conducting some sort of an experiment to actually find out what makes a server active and what motivates people to be active in your server. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about seven main tips to not only grow your server, but to keep it active. But make sure you watch till the end because this is where I keep the most juiciest tips in order to wrap it up nicely. I hope you're excited for those tips. We're gonna begin right after a message from our sponsor. Hey you, are you looking for emotes? Then you need to check out Owns Emote Maker. Check this out. In a couple of clicks, I create one character and then Own generates the rest. All you gotta do is go to own.gg slash get level, hover over sub emote in badges and click emote maker. So try it out. That is own3d.gg slash get level. Let me start by addressing a little bit of clickbait that I put in the title. I put seven tips, but the truth is it's seven categories of tips. So within each category, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. Let's start with number one, determine your goal. If you're making a Discord server, you have to know exactly where you want to go with it. Picture the perfect server in your head and then trace your steps back to know exactly how you can get there. One way to do it is to find a specific niche. You don't want to make a Discord server that has to do with anything and everything. Pick something specific that everyone can rally around. Once you have your specific niche, it will be easier for you to picture your target audience. What is the model server member looks like? What are they into and what type of activities will they be participating in your server. Now I understand if you're starting out, this might be a little difficult. So this is where templates will come into play. When you go to a website that already has Discord server templates, they actually have templates for specific topics. From there, you might find something that relates kind of to something that you are interested in. And then boom, you make your server based on that. So just make sure you are making a server around a specific topic. Branding. Very important, but do not overcomplicate it, okay? Keep it very simple. You just need to pick a color scheme and then a graphic style. It will allow you to give your server a unique look. You can make some cool banners for all the info channels. You can have specific colors for different roles in your server. You can upload a bunch of custom emotes that everyone is gonna be able to use. But most importantly, you're gonna have to pick or make an awesome profile picture that is clear, that is very visible, even when it's that small. Kiss. Keep it simple, sir. Even if you're creating your server from a template, you actually want to go ahead and delete a bunch of them if there's too many channels in your server. You wanna keep it clear, you wanna keep it simple, you wanna make it very readable. If someone clicks on your server, they need to know where everything is by just one glance. One tip you can use in order to make everything look very, very clear when it comes to your channels is to use emojis and their titles. Of course, you get aesthetic points for this, but people can also find some channels by just quickly looking over. Especially when you're starting out, you want everything to be kind of compact. I've seen servers that have things like a channel for pets, a channel for food, a channel for selfies. <laughs> if you're starting out and you have like five members or 10 members, all of that can go under one channel called pictures. To make sure that people don't feel overwhelmed when they click on your server and then they have to check out like 30 channels, a server being compact enough will actually motivate people to want to post in them rather than having a server with a bunch of channels. Moderation. So one of the big tips that I have for you is that if you're starting a server, you actually want to start with one or two moderators. You can use your friends or whoever wants to help you start this server. The advantage here is that if it's you plus two other people, you can already start posting in different channels so that when new people come in, they will see that the server is already active basically. Now, if you're on different time zones, it's actually a good thing because maybe you're asleep and then something happens with the server and you want someone to moderate while you're asleep. Another good advice is that if your niche always has some technical difficulties or stuff like that where people are always asking questions make sure that you create a different section for that kind of stuff because people will want to join just to find an answer to those questions and you don't want that to basically be spammy on your general chat or in other channels what about spamming stuff you actually want to populate your discord with a couple of bots that will help you with moderation if you've been on discord long enough you know that there's a lot of members that will show up just to spam a bunch of random stuff and sometimes they come in and they're like dormant and then one day they just decide to spam stuff 
if you have a bot that can automatically prevent that stuff or even ban people that do that, you're gonna be thanking me. <laughs> Especially if your Discord link is public and you're trying to recruit whoever in the server. One extra tip under this category is that you do not want to be adding everyone all the time. You posted a picture of your dog, you don't need to add everyone. Eventually someone will see it. The thing is, if you add everyone all the time, is that people have sound notifications on and then it's gonna get annoying and they're gonna end up muting your server. That's the worst thing they can basically do on your server is mute it because if there's an important event, if there's anything going on and you actually need everyone's attention, then you're not gonna get it. I've seen some servers actually create roles that people can choose if they want notifications or if they don't so that it doesn't bother everyone else. Advertisement. That's the best way of growing your Discord server if you just advertise it in the proper places. Now you're gonna get even more members if you chose to name your Discord correctly. Remember when I told you to pick a niche, a specific topic? If that topic is in the title, you know? Anime lovers, cooking show enthusiasts. <laughs> I don't know, whatever you choose. If the title says it all, then it's gonna be easier for people to just click and join. Now, just like I said about the mods, the first thing you want to do is talk around you, talk about it around you, invite your friends and stuff like that and people that might actually help you develop it a little bit before you start advertising it elsewhere. But elsewhere is there's a bunch of websites that allow you to actually list your server as an official server and get you a bunch of traffic that way. And of course, like advertising anything in 2022, you can talk about it on social media. So you're like, hey, if there's anyone who's interested in said topic, hey, join my server. This is what we do. We do this. We do that. We're going to get further into this a little bit later. That specific topic we talked about probably has a bunch of Facebook groups. You can join those Facebook groups. Groups. And then, you know, sneakily advertise your Discord server. Don't make it too blatant. Make sure you follow the rules of those groups. All right, important part, humanize the server. You want to create a space for daily mundane activity that don't necessarily have to do with that niche that, that I'm talking about. The thing is, you want to get people used to being active. If you have this picture section and you are starting to post every time you have a meal, right? You just take a picture, boom, post it on the Discord, and now it encourages other people to do the same. And Literally, you know, a lot of people are posting, you know, what they're eating for dinner, for lunch, for, for breakfast. <laughs> allow people to talk about their days, uh, their daily activities, whatever they're doing, basically. Allow people to be human. And following on that, you do not want to be too strict when it comes to the rules. You can't be like, okay, this server is about this topic, this topic only, don't talk about anything else. You want to be a little loose in order to let people express themselves and feel comfortable. The most active members in any Discord are people who have the time to be active or they are passionate enough about the group of people they're in to share stuff with them. So let them share so much so that there might be a couple of things that you don't necessarily like, but you will have to allow them in order to basically please the masses. You're creating a community server. You're not creating a server for yourself. It's for them. So things like self promo channels is sometimes a must. And of course, you're gonna have members that will only post in the self promo channel, but you will also have members that are not only active, but also post on the self promo. Maybe there's gonna be some people checking out the links in the self promo. Maybe you're gonna create some friendships that way. There are specific Discord bots that allow people to play games. This is something else. Maybe you don't like, oh, I don't really like when people are playing games in my Discord because it gets very spammy and blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter, create a specific channel for it and let people just play their games. You just wanna create a welcoming atmosphere you want people to get used to saying hi to each other and saying welcome when there's a new member in the server and things like that, right? Just you have to set the example so that people can follow. Then we have the most important advice, which is also the most difficult. What a coincidence. Keep it active. You have to be the most active member in your Discord, at least when you're starting out, right? You have to give everyone the momentum that you want the Discord to have in order to, for it to become, you know, a well-oiled machine. Creating and managing a Discord server is basically a full-time job. I'm not gonna lie to you. You have to be the model member. The member that you would like to have, you have to be this member, but times 10. So once you created that Discord, literally every day you're waking up, you're posting, and you're asking people questions. You're getting engagement, basically. You're gonna be in voice chat. You're going to be live streaming stuff. Whatever that niche is, I'm sure there can be discussion to be had around your topic. And then boom, you're live streaming this either in voice chat. You can even show stuff on your screen. You can encourage other people to live stream their stuff on the daily. And again, we talked about humanizing it. You wake up in the morning. You're going to say hi. Good morning, everyone. This is what I'm planning for today. Hey, what's up? Y'all just checking in during my lunch break. I'm eating this, this, that. Check out the picture channel to see the picture of my food. This is your life now. <laughs> 
organize get togethers make sure that you're using this event option in discord the cool thing is that on top of the server it will let people know that an event is going on if the main topic is a video game you can play with everyone else you can do trivia nights you can just do like some sort of a podcast going on in the discord just invite people and let everyone participate since i'm feeling generous here's a bonus tip or a bonus tip category if you will create incentives give people an extra reason to be active in your server i understand that incentives are not accessible to everyone but some of them are free one of them is like roles multiple bots will allow your members to have points every time they speak basically so they can have different levels depending on how active they are it will speak to the competitive side of people and you can make it so that okay if you reach a certain level maybe you get a special role so now now your name is a different color and you have a different role maybe you have a little badge that goes with that role there's a couple of templates that are already like that it allows you to gamify your discord server while roles are completely free but maybe with certain roles they unlock uh uh, new stuff they have access to a vip section maybe now they can post gifts in the general chat maybe you let them choose stuff okay they get to choose the next movie that we're watching on movie night every wednesday or something <laughs> they get to choose which game we play and then of course there's paid incentives one thing that i used to do is the top most active member of my server i would give them one month of discord nitro now i do understand that it's like 12 bucks a month but the cool thing is that it motivates them to be even more active in the group it also motivates other people to be more active because maybe someday they'll be the most active in a month then on top of that you can add some animated emojis to your discord now they can use them they get to boost your server which is something you should look up i'm not gonna talk about it they can also use animated emotes in your server now i do understand that 12 bucks a month might be much especially for to give one reward so one other thing that you can do is for example humble bundle which is this company that basically sell games at a discount most of the time and also works with charities for the same price every single month Humble Bundle will give you 10 to 12 games, meaning that you can give away those games. That is 12 games per month. Now, it doesn't have to do with the special role or, or the XP or anything. You can just be giving away games all the time in your Discord, making sure that people don't turn off their notifications. Those are my main ideas, but basically anything that you can give to someone else over the internet, like Amazon gift cards, those are on the table also, if you do have the budget for it. Of course, I would advise you to spend the least amount of money while getting the most individual things to give away so that you can gift multiple people stuff all right this video is pretty ironic because right now i'm taking a break from my main discord i'm actually working on other uh, discord servers that are already more active than my main one if you're interested to join you don't have to it's gonna be linked in the description it's actually linked in every video description on my channel but yeah i'm still learning i am still working on multiple i don't have like a huge community uh, that is super active that i could use as an example those are basically a couple of things that i gathered while experimenting with discord let me know if you have more experience and you have some amazing tips that i probably missed let us know in the comment section below in the meantime i have to remind you to click on that subscribe button also check me out on twitch i stream sometimes i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching go out there make me proud get level